The top 5 Bible verses that help with anxiety. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Comment Amen if you agree, save these for when you need them. March is going to be a big month for you and your family. You will experience consecutive wins, healing, financial freedom and spiritual growth. I declare nothing about your life will remain the same. You will receive everything you've been waiting and praying for. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. I love you. I have made you and I will carry you, I will sustain you and I will rescue you. Isaiah 46 4 You are going to experience new expansive shifts in your energy. You've let go of negative inner self-talk which is now transforming your outside reality. Good people are entering your life as a result of this inner work you are doing. New opportunities to expand your wealth and to provide abundance for your family are manifesting. Your positive attitude, discipline, and consistent effort to get better each day is opening the kingdom of heaven. Type yes if you needed this. Rise up, this matter is in your hands. We will support you, so take courage and do it. God reduced your circle because he heard conversations you did not. At Pours 1.4 God says, you will prosper. You will smile again. Your storm is over. Keep them safe from the evil one. The enemy is confused at how you're still standing after every weapon he formed has failed. God is protecting you. Choosing to trust God is the best decision you can ever make. If God is making you wait, then wait. God is trying to show you something. You will see God's hands in all areas of your life when you leave everything in God's hands. Don't forget God when you get what you prayed for. Me showing the world who saved me when I was at my lowest. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Tilda Luke 9.10 Comment Amen if you believe. If it's from God, it'll come with his peace. God is going to remove anybody lying to you, using you, speaking foul on you behind your back but pretending to love you in your face. Type Amen to affirm. Here is my list of reasons I am not panicking with what's going on in the world right now, Jesus. Psalm 107 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Type thank you, Lord, if you receive it. 
God says, now you will see what I can do. We were made to be fully satisfied by none other than the one who made us. Nothing and no one will ever fill the void God alone fills. Even the sweet blessings from him will fall short of making us feel complete. Until we come to understand this, our strivings will always be in vain. Believer, find rest in the one who made you for himself. God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this, it is a gift from God. I don't care how hard life gets, I'm not losing my faith in God. Amen. God says to you, Stop worrying about what is going to happen next. You don't have to do anything but be still. I am on top of it, I am working in the background, just wait my child. My timing is perfect. Type Amen and share if you believe. He that winneth souls is wise. Pray for your friends. Pray for friendships which will not just stay for a season, but are committed to stay for a lifetime. Pray for fruitful accountability. Pray for God-given relationships. Pray that you will be that friend whom you want to have dash one that loves at all times. God is saying to you today, I know you were up late last night worrying about your bills, that diagnosis, your children, and your future. So many scenarios ran through your mind last night. But you forgot about this scenario, your heavenly father coming to your house healing your body, increasing your finances, opening doors, bringing the right people into your life, and blessing your future. Give me your worries and I will give you peace. Trust me. I love you so much. There's nothing in this world that is able to stand against God. The devil may try to attack you with everything that he has, but when you put on the full armor of God and walk by faith, God promises that he will fight your battles. He will make a way when you don't see a way. For verses to remember when you're feeling disappointed. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. Sustain me, my God, according to your promise, and I will live, do not let my hopes be dashed. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Comment Amen if you agree. Hosea 10.12 Sow righteousness for yourselves, reap the fruit of unfailing love, and break up your unplowed ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, until he comes and showers his righteousness on you. Psalm 1 for 3, 1 Lord, hear my prayer, listen to my cry for mercy, in your faithfulness and righteousness come to my relief. If you receive it, type God, I trust you, Amen. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. Every person you see is someone Jesus thought enough of to die for, remember that in how you treat others. God's been telling you to do something for a while, but you've been paralyzed with fear. 
Don't choose your comfort over the incredible things that God wants to do through you. Listen to God. Maybe God isn't giving you a relationship right now because you can't keep the one you have with him. Comment Amen if you believe.